Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to make stuffed bell peppers. Let's get started. For our ingredients, we'll need some ground beef, a onion, and I like to use the sweet onions, some bell peppers, I like to use the orange, yellow, and red bell peppers, some rice, we will cook that rice first, some uh, fire roasted or just diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, garlic, and you can use fresh garlic if you like, but I have the already minced, and then we have some oregano, some salt, and some cumin, and some cheese. First things first, we're gonna cook our rice according to the directions. And in this case, I have regular white rice, but if you have minute rice, it only takes five minutes, you can use that as well. Or even leftover rice. While the water heats up for my rice, I'm gonna start a skillet with some olive oil and saute my diced onions. And I set my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. As the onions have sauteed for about four to five minutes, we're next gonna add about a half teaspoon of garlic or maybe one clove of garlic. We're going to go ahead and saute that as well, and then we're going to add our hamburger meat. I added about a pound and a half of ground beef to our onions. We're going to mix this up well and stir it and cook it well. We're going to add a teaspoon of oregano, a half teaspoon of cumin, and a pinch of salt. I'm going to let this ground beef and onion mixture get nice and brown, and then we'll add our tomato sauce and our roasted tomatoes. Right, I've gone ahead and sliced my bell peppers in half and removed the seeds and the white lining. We put ours in half, but you can leave them whole if you like, however you like to do your stuffed bell peppers. All right, it's time to add our tomato sauce. This is one can or eight ounces of tomato sauce and one can or eight ounces of diced fire roasted tomatoes or just diced tomatoes. All right, we have our tomato sauce and tomatoes added. We're gonna let this kind of simmer on low until our rice is done. The kind of rice that we have takes 20 minutes to cook and it's got about 15 more minutes left. So that'll give this time for all these flavors to marry. Our rice is cooked, it's nice and fluffy and I'm going to add it in with our hamburger mixture. So this was about a cup, almost a cup, about three fourths of a cup of uncooked rice and it makes um, probably about a cup and a half of cooked rice. So we're just gonna stir this all together with the hamburger and then we're gonna add it to our bell peppers. We have our mixture all ready to go. We're going to put it into our bell pepper halves that are nice and scooped out. And then we're gonna to top it with some mozzarella cheese. Right, I have stuffed our bell peppers overflowing and I have I only used about half the mixture so we can use the other half uh, for another three bell peppers, so six total, or we can freeze it and use our hamburger mixture meat next time. I'm going to go ahead and top each one of these with a nice hefty uh, handful of our grated mozzarella cheese. It's usually about a cup of cheese total, but you can use the cheese uh, more or less as you like it. So we're going to use quite a bit because we like the cheese. Here's our finished stuffed bell peppers. They look and smell delicious. We can't wait to eat them. And our stuffed bell peppers are finished. They look and smell amazing. We hope that you give this recipe a try and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time. Thanks, bye. Mm, this pepper bell rings my bell.